So let's go ahead and jump into our next game, which is going to be the National League Divisional Series Game 3 between the Braves and the Phillies. This is a even series after what the Braves did on uh, Monday night when they went ahead and had a miraculous comeback. They were down 4-1, to one, wound up winning the game 5-4. to four. Um, Also had a great play to finish up that game with a great outlet throw that um, caught Bryce Harper at first while he was trying to, you know, he got caught on a hit and run. Usually you 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 don't get the guy, but they got Bryce Harper because Bryce Harper was was moving. He was trying to get that run to get that game tied. And that just goes to show you how the effort that Bryce has is very unmatched in the league. This is why the guy gets the big dollars. It's not just about hitting home runs and hitting the ball really hard. It's about the effort that he puts into the game of baseball. And I know that's going to be motivation for the Philadelphia lineup going into today's game. And it's going to be motivation for the Philadelphia crowd because Philly is very confident in winning this series. Okay. They truly feel that they got this one. And I think the last two times they played the Braves in a series, they won the series and everybody has to know that those two series, the Braves were heavy favorites in those series as well, too. And this year it, the Braves have the best record in all of baseball. And they come in here with the utmost confidence that they're the best team in all of baseball and that they should be back into the World Series. That's where a lot of people already had them. People really felt that the National League was just going to be a uh, Dodgers Braves, um, you know, summit and they meet up in the uh, in the championship series. But it didn't work out like that. The Braves got popped right upside their head. First game of the uh, playoff, just like the Dodgers did, but they were able to get it together and even up the series. They didn't put themselves in a position where the season's on the line today. They can afford to lose today, but they really can't because they do not want to give the momentum back to the Phillies. The momentum is even right now. And so once you get into hostile territory, you have to go ahead and take their food. That's exactly what you got to do. You got to be the villain here. There is no good guy stuff coming from the Braves here. They have to come in here and be the worst nightmare for Philadelphia and their fans in game three. They're going to really have to be dominant in this game. But when you look at the advantages, Philly has the advantage in the pitching game today because Noya has been here. Noya has had big moments here, and he's a guy that you can really trust to be a superb pitcher today. Now. Elder is a guy that's still new to this, in a sense. He's a good pitcher, great pitcher. He's had a good season. But this could be a bit too much pressure for him. But I truly do feel that the way that the Braves finished that game, they're going to take that momentum into today's game. The Braves have the best lineup out of anybody left in the playoffs. We know that. So they have the type of lineup that can easily score 10 runs, but they do have the type of lineup that can get shut out today as well, too, by being over aggressive. So what they have to do is be patient. And when the Braves are patient, they're the most dangerous team that this decade has seen, in a sense. You got Ronald Acuna, who's just the absolute gem. You have Ozzy Albies, who's just another gem. And then you have Austin Riley, who's just, oh, my goodness, he would be an impact player anywhere in the MLB right now. So there's a lot of things that you look at the Braves and say there's a lot of things going in their favor today. But then there's a lot of things you look at with the Phillies and say that they have the chance to seize momentum here and actually end this series by tomorrow if they go ahead and get that same energy that they had in the wild card round and that they had in the uh, ALCS last year. And in the ALDS last year as well, too. So this team at home, they've been too good. They've been way too good at home. And in the National League portion of the playoffs, they've been just the right stuff. You know, this team, I think, right now is eight and zip since, um, you know, the last two years against the National League in the playoffs. So this is a very, very big game today. It's probably the biggest game out the three because we know that the other two are elimination games. But this one right here, we know that we have a game four coming for sure. 
and we have a possible game five coming. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it shakes out. Braves, Phillies, I like the Braves to win this game today. Take back the momentum for the moment because I truly do feel like this series is going to go five and it's going to come down to who wants it the most when we get back to Atlanta. So it is what it is, and we move forward. Let's go ahead and get into our 